Joe Biden not exactly offering an inspirational message about coronavirus. I guess this will get us all fired up. Listen, hang on. I've been cautioned not to give an answer to that because we don't know for sure. But my hope is by this time next year, we're going to be back to normal. And before that, my hope. But again, it depends upon if people continue, continue to be smart and understand that we still can have significant losses. There's a lot we have to do yet. So thank you. Did you receive a briefing about the border today? Did you receive a briefing about the border today? Uh, yes, I did. What did you learn? A lot. Is there a crisis on the border, sir? We're in so much trouble. Joining me now to talk about that and other things, the vice president of national initiatives for the Texas Public Policy Foundation, Chuck DeVore. Chuck, I don't know which part of that little blurb I enjoyed more. The fact that Joe said that if you and I are good little servants, we'll hopefully be giving our lives back a year from now, or that he didn't learn anything about the border. Yeah, take your pick. Um, the, the border is rapidly deteriorating as we thought it would. Um, the Texas Public Policy Foundation did a border crisis simulation last December, and we determined that the expectations of a less strict border policy, less strict border enforcement would encourage uh, a large number of new would-be migrants to head north, especially from the Northern Triangle countries, that's El Salvador, uh, Honduras, uh, Guatemala, uh, and that they would uh, flood into the U.S. And we're beginning to see that now, and it's turning into a humanitarian crisis. It is, and what I don't understand is what the end game is for Democrats here. Is it just as simple as we want to flood the country with illegal immigrants and hand them citizenship so we never lose another election? I mean, that's so dark and evil that I even have a hard time wrapping my mind around that. But is it just that simple, Chuck? Well, in our simulation, a lot of it just came down to politics and to a reaction that anything that President Trump did was just bad and therefore had to be re reversed without a lot of thought given to the consequences, uh, without a lot of thought given to the messaging and what happens when, when people who uh, are willing to risk uh, an enormous amount, uh, both life and limb uh, and a lot of money to get into the United States because it's so much better here than in the places where they're coming from. Uh, so. We, we just think it was a lack of thinking through the consequences. Uh, in our simulation, what happened was that the events on the border began to unravel so rapidly, uh, it got inside of the Biden administration's uh, decision cycle loop, uh, which is already slowed down by the fact of who the chief executive is, and they just didn't react uh, with enough uh, force or quickly enough. And as a result, in our simulation, the governor of Texas had to uh, use some of the authority that he had to use his National Guard assets, his Texas Rangers, uh, Department of Public Safety assets to secure the Texas border. Uh, and so things got uh, pretty hairy pretty quickly in our simulation. I think we're perhaps about halfway there now. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.